Hey friends, if you need to keep your gear charged while you're out on the trail, like your iPhone, your GoPro, maybe your watch, and you don't want to bring extra batteries or you don't want to bring a ton of extra batteries, you can get one of these solar chargers. I've been using this style for five plus years and it's been pretty amazing until recently my daughter took it on a camping trip and said it didn't hold a charge anymore. So I ended up getting another one. I was in the market for a new one. So I bought this one. They did make a slight upgrade. There are now two carabiners, which is amazing. The other one only had one, which I never understood why. And that way you can hook it on your backpack and it'll just hang off your pack while you're hiking and collect sun and be ready to charge up all your gear once you get your campsite. This is $70 though, and it weighs over a pound, which is kind of a lot when you're backpacking. So I found this other little guy, which is only $20, what a deal, and weighs less than my iPhone. It's smaller <laughs> than my phone. So that was kind of nice. That was a nice selling feature. It's also solar. It has two USB ports on the back. I guess that's called USB-A, so it's not USB-C. You can charge it ahead of time, and really, um, to be honest, that's the only way this thing is gonna work is if you do charge it uh, at home through an outlet and then it will charge your gear. But what I did find is the solar thing is kind of maybe just a gimmick. Maybe it does do a little bit, I don't know. It's trickle charger maybe. Your, it did charge my phone for several days, but each day the charge was getting lower and lower and lower until I just gave up. So it is charging less and less. It's uh, day three of using this thing and my phone got up to about 50%. It was down at 20% last night. And I'm gonna leave it out in the sun all day again today and see what happens. It looks like it's pretty much out of juice. So we'll see. It is quite small and light, which I like. I wouldn't take this backpacking, but maybe as having it as a backup power source would be nice. Not backpacking, once again, there's weight does have another feature it has the light you have to there's a power button on the side if you hold it the light will eventually come on so that could be helpful if you don't have your phone handy or don't have another flashlight or if your lucy light died because you didn't charge that this one on the other hand has been great i do charge it before heading out on the trail and then while i'm out there i'll charge it every day it also has a light there's a little button on the back you just hold it and eventually the light will come on and it's just this light right here it's pretty bright as well maybe not as bright as the other one i'm not quite sure but it's a nice little added feature it has you at two usb ports on the back so they're similar in that aspect so like i said if you absolutely need to charge stuff while you're out backpacking and you know you're not going to have any ability to plug in like if you're out at um, in the middle of the Sierras where there's no outlets I'd get one of these and just uh, suck up that extra weight anyway you guys that's all I have for you today hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you out on the trails or in the next video and if you want to see an adventure I did just recently publish one from last year because I'm so behind